Creating an online community can be tough, but if you're following along with this online course, you've got all the tools and know-how to make it work. So let's talk about the future. Communities are different from online courses and other self-serve products. They require you to keep coming back and working on it. We've talked about how to maintain your community without burnout, but we haven't talked about what the next steps are. In the previous lessons, we've talked about what you might want to measure in your community and how to keep your ear to the ground. Insights from these two activities should illuminate what members love, hate, and what's missing from your community. Trust these insights to lead you in the right direction. Once you see the power of community to help your students complete your course, we suggest exploring other ways that community can help you grow your business. Top creators on the Thinkific platform naturally follow a maturity scale as their business grows, and typically community becomes a huge selling point for them. This happens a few different ways. First, creators pivot their learning community from a community around a product, your course, to a community of practice, broadening the scope. For example, if you have a course on video editing and a community around that course, you're in a great position to shift the focus in the community away from the course specifically and onto a space for videographers in general. This way, no matter what course you're running, you can send all your students to one place to discuss the practice of videography and connect with one another. Additionally, you can treat this community space as its own product, selling access to just the community instead of having it only be a value add to your courses. Or you can keep it free and use this community as a way to attract new prospective customers and show them the value that you can provide. If you run live events, webinars, and talk about your course in the community to pique interest in them, more people will buy. Second, instead of offering your course and community in one price point, you can start offering it as a part of a higher tier offer for that course. For example, if you have a membership model, you could offer a bronze model with access to the course content only, you can offer a silver model with access to the community included, and a gold tier with direct access to the instructor included, along with all the other things. Third, once you have a dedicated crew of highly engaged members in your community, you can start working with them more closely as partners. Engaged alumni from your training that are active in the community are going to be your best affiliates, your best way to support new students, and your best advisors. Start a referral program with them, collect testimonials, incentivize membership in your community, or start a client council to give you feedback on your next product. What we see here at Thinkific is that a community-powered business is a healthy business. The community will be your greatest asset as you grow. So where do you see your community taking your business? Ideate a few ways that you could scale your business by being more community-powered before moving on.